Ellis, and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for tonight's main event. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. The left hook's really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. Kid Dynamite's ring walk is very interesting here. This isn't over-the-top emotion. This isn't a guy with an intense, glaring stare. Just a guy going to do his job. In the world corner, playing out of Houston, left hook. And his opponent across the line, Kid Dynamite. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Think about the great historic moments in the sport, and many times you think about the one single big punch that finished a great fight. He's the kind of fighter that can do that here tonight. Yeah, and more importantly than that, yeah, he has the power, but there's been other guys. Ernie Shave has had great power. He never won the heavyweight title. You have to have a trick to get it to the target when it's most needed. Like Rocky Marziano against Ezra Charles. You know, Marziano had very little time left. His nose was split, and the ref was going to stop the fight. He had to land that punch, and he had a little trick. Started one hand, threw the other. A little head knocking with that right hand. Halfway through round number one. Pulled the trigger on that overhand left. Able to cover up that gut. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by left hook. Well targeted two punch combo by left hook. Left hook, right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. And now he's targeting upstairs. That's a big, big shot he just scored with. And why did he score? Because he created range, created distance. Created a hole, and he filled that hole. How about that left hand? Left hook's got to deal with a cut sheet. You let this guy get away. Listen. Now Here we go. Round two is underway. You're not doubling your champ. You got to work this kid. You understand? You Good flush shot upstairs. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Hey, 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 hey. Nice Let's strike go. after catching one by Kid Dynamite. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. What a hook by Kid Dynamite. Halfway through round number two.
took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Left Hook's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is the block. He did it there well. And that's the end of round two. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the doctor is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. A shooting right hand by Kid Dynamite. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Hooks on the inside, hooks on the inside. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Keep the head moving. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. What impact from that uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Good combination by left hook. And now he scores with that left to the body. Back to the body. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice block by Kid Dynamite. Left and right, left and right. Flush right hand to the head. Left hook's doing well here with that two punch combination. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Left hook's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. And that's the end of round three. Throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around. Gotta let it go. Jab, jab. Kid Dynamite's off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. Good job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Kid Dynamite. Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside fighting early. A place where, quite honestly, I expected him to be all night long. But now he's getting the privilege. He's getting the luxury of being able to stay outside a little bit. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Took a shot, now he gives a left. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Hey, Kid Dynamite is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Kid Dynamite showing you that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. It's a razor-sharp uppercut by left hook. Come on, man. Work the body, kid. Body shots. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by left hook. Basic but beautiful. Jab right hand. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make it nice. Solid. Late 
showings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? One, get up, get Two, three, up, up. And somehow, someway, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Left hook's basically doing exactly what we've always seen out of him, and that's after he's been knocked down and affected in this fight. Yeah, you know, there comes a time you have to make adjustments. That time has come for him. Big shot, and he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. A clean, crisp right hand by Kid Dynamite. Keep moving. You've got to see that coming now. Come on. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by left hook. Good-looking right hand after he got hit. Get at this. Fires off that hook. Kid Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. There you go. That's a good left hand by Kid Dynamite. Left hook's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. And this round comes to an end. Kid Dynamite's just doing what he's been doing all night long. We've seen it throughout. He's been scoring well on the inside. He's been hitting those headshots. I don't know what the answer is on the other side, Teddy, but there's got to be something they can do different. Well, one thing is he has to notice that, yeah, he's staying on the outside, but he's pulling back straight every once in a while. So what you got to do is make believe you're an NFL quarterback. Everybody wanted to be an NFL quarterback, you know, where you lead the receiver. So what you do is you anticipate that he's going to go back and you aim a punch behind him. Let him walk right into that punch. Let him pull into that punch. Good block by left hook. The left hand coming into play by Kid Dynamite. There he is on the inside, and that's where he wants to be. That's exactly where he wants to be. And what he has to do now is make sure that he keeps those hands moving. Good-looking jab there. Left hook. Wow! Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got floored. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now and stop this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. The fight is over. Les Hook's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Kid Dynamite's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title. You want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fight.